All right, thank you, Brian. Also tonight, Dayton Police and Animal Resource Center workers called to two different dog incidents, both since Saturday. And both of these cases are involving pit bulls, and both incidents happen less than a quarter of a mile from each other. The first, early this morning on Maplewood Avenue, where a Chihuahua was found mauled to death. The second on Mayfair Road early this afternoon, where two pit bulls were seized and a man was arrested. Robert Lowry is live with what he has learned on both fronts tonight. Mark and Katie, I've reached out to both Dayton Police and the Animal Resource Center in Montgomery County to get more information, see if these two are connected in, in any way. Now, we're still waiting to hear back from them, but what we do know is a little bit more information on the incident that happened earlier this afternoon on Mayfair. Jesse White Jr. was arrested this afternoon at his apartment on a 2000 block of Mayfair Road. Currently booked at the Montgomery County Jail, he has been charged with resisting arrest and obstructing official police business. Two news was there when Dayton police and animal resource officers pulled two pit bulls from White's apartment. That happened around 3 this afternoon. White was also taken to the hospital after suffering a seizure during his arrest. I spoke with neighbors in the area who didn't want to go on camera, but did say they appeared to be an argument between White and his neighbor before police arrived. Still waiting to see if there's any connection between these pit bulls getting taken away and an earlier dog attack that left one man's pet chihuahua dead. That incident happening on the 100 block of Maplewood Avenue. Police say they found a dog with a large bite mark on the dog's neck. A neighbor told police he saw two pit bulls attacking the dog Saturday night. Involving the Chihuahua is being investigated by the Animal Resource Center, but they believe it might have been the pit bulls, uh, the dogs near that owner's property on th that area. So we're still waiting to find out any information from Dayton Police and the Animal Resource Center. If we do get any, we'll be sure to pass it along to you. Reporting live, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.